Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, tonight is a night that I'm all giddy about. You guys have seen all my posts and stuff kind of teasing what's going on here. But we started this Deal Central project um, about nine months ago, which is kind of funny because, you know, the nine month and tonight feels like the birthing of it because the reality of it is we're doing version three tonight. Now, version one was primarily a, hey, let's get the site going so that we can do buy-sell deals of, you know, wholesale properties and so forth. Version two was about starting to connect up buyers and sellers and try connecting up lenders and um, people that are trying to borrow money for their deals. And that was good. And in the course of that, we did Shark Tank, which has been awesome and has been very successful for us. But one of the things that we've learned through all of this is that uh, the analogy I put on several of my videos is it seems like from the day of the caveman, um, when you needed that spare pterodactyl bone because you're a little short this month, you always had to go to the guy's cave that was the pterodactyl bone guy and borrow that from him. That very rarely did that person ever wander out and... Um, get those pterodactyl bones from other people or loan them to them, excuse me, I'm hit the mute button here. And anyway, so what we've really found is even now when we have this site that kind of allows people to find each other, it tends not to happen. So we tend to see this still this thing where lenders expect you to come to them. And that was not present in the site as of today. But now what we've done is basically built a full-blown kind of a holistic process for lending for all kinds of real estate investment deals. And we're using the automation we have. We're using the deal flow that we have. We're using a ton of relationships and some innovation to basically make this all easier. And the goal that I've had from the beginning is to take most real estate investors' biggest worries out of their mind. So it always seems like you can find the deals out there, but if you find the deal, are you going to have enough down payment? Are you going to have the lenders? Are the lenders going to be reasonable to get into the property? Once you do renovations and all those kind of things, if you want to hold it, are you going to be able to get the long-term funding to do the deal? Can you can you do a deal that has like creative finance where you've got a, a mortgage that you're doing sub to and you can't be in second position? So all these things have been headaches that most of us have dealt with, and we're trying to take them off the table, okay? That's that's the goal of this evening. So let me get going and start uh, into this. Okay, everybody see the screens okay? Let me check one screen I'm missing here. That's good. All right. If you, anybody has questions as we're going here, feel free to hit the chat or feel free to just unmute yourself. I've I've turned mute off. I've turned mute on for everybody, but the reality of it is I believe you have the power to unmute as necessary. If not, just post it in the chat there. And we'll get walking through this. So this whole 8-8 thing, I've had several people I've talked to about this today. Some people thought I delayed this until we were on 8-8. The reality of it is. I was in the shower this morning and I was literally thinking to myself, what is the date today? And I realized it was the 8th and I realized, wow, this is, it's 8 p.m. tonight on 8-8. And one of the first businesses I ever sold was years ago, but I actually sold my first big liquidity event. It was actually on 7-7. And I was like, wow, those number of things are kind of cool. And so that with that, I just for fun went to Google and said, hey, what's the significance of 8-8? And it came up with this it's a little bit zenny for me or whatever, new agey, but basically infinite wealth, luck, and good vibes. And that's what I built this ad in six minutes. So a lot into this, but basically what we're saying is it starts now. And what we've done in the last hour is turned on this new tab right here, this funding tab. And this hasn't been available until today. But basically what we're offering here is a whole, this again, full array of financing options. You're welcome to go in here and watch this video in a little bit. It's gonna explain a lot of what I'm gonna to say today. Maybe a little bit different way, it may help. One of the things, let me also throw out here that's kind of exciting is we're actually at, adding a half a point referral fee to any deals that you send to us. So we're always having people say, hey, I know somebody that needs something. We actually have a process in here where you can basically tag a deal 
and pick up a referral fee on this. So if you're referring somebody in, they may pick up a few bucks. It's not going to change your life, but it's a nice little added benefit that we built into the deals. So what we've got going here, first of all, is if you go into the screen and you've never done it, first of all, it requires you to be logged in. Let me get that out there first. To get in here, you need to have a login. It's a free login. It takes just a minute to get set up. When you first come in here, you're not going to see any of this stuff right here in the middle. The reason is, is it requires that you have existing deals in the system already. And if you do, then all these are available. And you can then pull up the deal that you want to get financed. And it's going to automatically pull in a few values, the purchase price, the existing value, the, the, any debt that's on there, existing equity, and any uh, requests for funding that you have at this point in time. Now, what we've also done is we've built in here, again, these six different methods. But as you start putting in what you're, the amounts you're looking for, how long you are, some of these things start going away um, because they're not relevant to the type of deal that you're doing. But let me talk about these six. So most of us are familiar with like Gator lending. Um, we have EMD funding for those who just need to get that uh, uh, earnest money uh, funded. With this, you can very easily apply for that in here. Typically, it's five to $200,000 is the transaction amounts for these. Um, there's no collateral required, no credit requirements. And usually they're for about a half a month, right? A couple of weeks. Um, we have transactional funding. So this is typically used for double closings, right? So if you need the, the full amount for the tra first transaction to be present, these are very safe transactions because they're, if done properly, all the money stays in the escrow account. So it's put in there, <clears throat> the first closing occurs, and on the second closing, you get typically paid back from that period of time. I'm speaking as if you're the lender. So transactional funding is available, 25,000 to 500,000, typically a few days, very short period of time. So these have been out there in a lot of places, all that Gator stuff that you're hearing about or you're maybe involved with, that's exactly what those are. And um, we see this is a one easy place to do it. The third thing we're doing is bridge lo loans or hard money. So we are working with some really, really incredible hard money people. Um, the ones we're doing right now, I actually have um, uh, like four deals in process with myself, with my own, my own portfolio. So this is a great place to go in there. And a uh, good question. I'll, get, I'll hear your question in a second. This is a great place to come in here when you're picking up a property. Um, usually you can get 75 to 80% of it funded. Um, on that initial purchase. We often will attach a construction loan to this if you have renovations that you need. And we make it pretty simple. So you can do it as short as 30 days and up to two years. Now that's typically fairly expensive money, but it's great money to get in there, get the job done and get out. So the deals that I'm doing are, we're, you know, we're acquiring them for X dollars. I have to put up like 20% of it myself. The rest of it is funded uh, through the hard money. Um, I have three months typically is our timeline we have that we figure to do renovations, get it on the market and hopefully get it sold uh, or refinance it into a longer term, better funding program like DSCR. So that's kind of our quick and dirty way of doing that. So Brad asked, where is the funding coming from for Gators? So what I'm gonna talk about at some point in time in this transaction or in this call, excuse me, I'm gonna talk about the the way that we're gonna allow people if they want to become um, lending partners with us. So we've got some professional entities to do some of these things, but we also have set it up so that uh, people that wanna be certified lenders, which is the thing we've had since version one of our system, um, that allows you to basically proof up that you've done deals, that you have funds available and you're ready to do these. And when these deals come in, we will offer them to our certified lenders to, uh, to be the funding partners on those. We'll handle the paperwork process. We'll take a little bit of the action, not a lot, but en enough to kind of handle that process. But that way we make it a very clean flow, transaction coordinators involved and um, make it a very smooth process. 
The fourth piece is the DSCR. So debt service coverage ratio loans. What we're really talking about here is investor-based loans um, for long-term periods of time. So typically, if I was to do one of those projects I just mentioned where I buy it kind of cheap and I put all this money into it and I get that appraisal value higher, I can then go out and get a new appraisal and borrow long-term on it at a more competitive rate and kind of set myself in for the future, you know, 20, 30 year deal. And now I'll just let this thing start earning and move on to your next deal, right? Now, the cool thing about this, I think, is that we're approaching all of these in a very holistic way. So if I loan, if we just go out there and forget this website, we just go out there and hang out in the Facebook groups and we see deals. If I do an EMD or transactional deal, my biggest question is, okay, great. How am I going to get paid back, right? That's always the concern. Is there really money there? Is there really an exit strategy there? And what's the ultimate financing out if that's something that's coming? Same way, if I'm doing a, if, if I'm involved in a, a bridge loan, like a hard money loan, I want to know, are we going to sell this thing? Are we going to refinance it? If so, are you qualified to refinance it? So the way we're doing this, we're working with the same loan officers, the same people on all of these. So if you come in and look for that bridge loan to buy, to renovate, at the exact same time, we're going to be looking to see, are you qualified for the D DSCR? And when will you be able to finance out of that? Is there enough time for seasoning? Are the appraisals going to be at the right levels? So we're looking from kind of start to finish to figure out if we have all the pieces necessary to make that work, right? So we're trying to take all the fear. We're trying to take the concept of stepping out in faith to do this instead of stepping out knowing that you've got a full plan to get this thing all the way start to finish in your project and on to good funding. So we think that's kind of a special thing because all of this is done at one place. For the most part, it's the same paperwork for all of these as far as you know, all that stuff you have to proof up and all that kind of thing. So we get to be very efficient with it and you're gonna get to know the people that are managing your account and helping you kind of shepherd you through that process. Uh, okay, let's, let's see real quick. Let me see if there's any, some questions before we go on to the next two. For the DS, for the DSCR, can the size of the transaction be less than 100K? Uh, there's, there are a few ways that we can do some like that. Um, that's kind of the typical level. Um, I would say if you have something like that, talk to me. Let's let's talk about it. There's there's always exceptions to everything and how we do it, um, the way we approach it, and there's probably a way to get there. Is there? Anything here for MHPs? Are there sponsors for new investors or capital partners? Mobile home parks. Okay, thanks. I just kind of forgot that there. Um, so, yes, Marcy, we're about to answer your question in a big way here. Brad, thanks. This is amazing. Thank. You. Oh yeah, yeah. I love it. Love it. Love all the love all the comments. So, <clears throat> the things we've done so far are what you've seen in other places, right? So you've seen EMD out there in the Facebook groups, you've seen transactional out there, you've seen bridge loans, you've seen DSR, nothing's new here, folks. But we're bringing it in a very easy, palatable way. And also by the fact that we use the connections to the deal flow here, this allows our investor, or excuse me, um, yeah, the, the basically the funders to be able to come in and actually look at the deals that are being funded. Right. So they can see all the data, the details, the location, all these things, all the due diligence materials and the things that we bring into Deal Central that makes this easier to do. So people are asking me all the time, hey, how about this deal? How can we fund this? Everything. I always first thing I would say, is it on the site? Because when it's on the site. Like I can go in here and I can do pretty good analysis in a minute or two to see if we're even in the ballpark of doing a deal. So here. By using the deal central process that we've talked about in the last three months, you're able to get all this data in there really quickly, really easily, really efficiently. You can market your, your deals and so forth. But now the deal um, investors, the funders can go in here and look at all this stuff pretty quickly and see if this makes sense to them. If some of the numbers are crazy, then at least raise those questions, but it is all in one spot. So that's very helpful. 
Okay, for Marcy, let's get to the good stuff here. So this sponsor program, this one's really got me excited. Um, one of the things that I've seen through running the Deal Central site is that, I haven't looked at statistics lately, but it's about 65 or 70% of the deals on the site are deals that are looking for funding. Okay, I originally thought that was going to be 10%, and the rest are buy sell. But that means I don't know what I'm talking about. But funding is the thing here. And as I go and I look through those funding deals, what I actually see is probably 70% of them aren't going to get funded. Okay, sorry. Bad news, game over. The reality of it is there's almost always a component missing. So typically the, the old pros, the veterans of doing this already have their credit lines lined up, their funders lined up. They kind of have this locked in. And a lot of the people that are in here are newer investors. And a lot of times they're missing the credit they need for this. Sometimes, often they're missing the cash, right? So I'm, I love Pace Morby, but it's awfully hard to do a lot of deals without cash. And most of the deals we're doing, we're, we're, I think we're in escrow on 10 deals right now. And of those, I think one is a creative finance deal, okay? But by using finance, these, these loan tools that are right here in front of us, we're able to do many, many deals and be much more productive. But it takes a ton of cash to do that, right? It takes the credit to do that. And then we start getting into some of the hard money. We have like, how many deals have you done? Show me heads. And so that experience kills a lot of deals as well. So with that, we came up with the sponsored program. The sponsored program, I call the Uncle Tony program. And at first, that was sort of an internal code name thing that I laughed at every time I, I said it. But the reality is, in a lot of ways, we're kind of working with newer investors or people that are missing one of those components. In a way, it, it's a lot like buying that first car, how you needed to go, you know, get Uncle Mike to help co-sign on the deal or to help with the down payment or whatever. And we're approaching it the exact same way. Uh, for sub two people, a lot of ways, this is like the deal or no deal thing that Pace does where he does joint venture deals. There's a lot of differences too, but it's kind of the same concept. So with this, if you bring a deal to us, put it on the site, we take a look at it and it needs to be a good deal, right? So Mr. Wonderful of the other Shark Tank that, you know, the one on TV, not the cool one. Um, Mr. Wonderful often says some deals need to be taken out behind the barn and shot. And that is a very true statement. And there are some deals that we see that are like, they should not be done. They're not good. They're not viable. They're probably not going to be successful. So we get in here, we take a look at a deal and then we see, is this a good deal? And if it is, then we come alongside and basically offer up a sponsorship environment. And in that case, I basically work with my own PMLs to fund these deals. And in it, I guarantee uh, them myself, okay? So I've got properties, I've got assets, I've had a couple big liquidity events in my life. And so I can make those lenders very comfortable that if things go sideways, I will step in and cure the problem. So if the deal starts going sideways, gets behind this thing, I'll step in, I'll pay off what needs to be paid off. We'll sell the property if we have to. We'll do what's necessary to clean up the deal. But more than likely, um, the deals are gonna be successful because we've done our due, due diligence. We've funded them properly. We've got good financing behind them. And we have an exit strategy already pre-planned. So in that model right there, we typically ask for equity between 25 and 50%. It could go lower, it could go higher. It's gonna depend upon the risk, the deal, what's involved, okay? So to Marcy's question, if there are beginners, uh, this is a solution where we can take the money off the table, okay? In that solution, you're gonna, we're gonna be partners. You're gonna be feet on the ground, um, you're going to be working the day-to-day -day issues. We're going to have, you know, our monthly meeting to see where we're at with the deal. We're going to make big decisions together. But for the most part, this is your deal. And the majority of the return of it is yours. Okay. So I want to do deals with everybody. 
right? I mean, this is exciting stuff because we're able to get you going. The thought process is that we're not going to limit people to how many deals they do like this. I mean, we do as many as we want to do. That makes sense. But the reality is probably most people are going to do a couple of these. And with that, they will have the experience necessary to make the hard money people happy. They're going to have some cash from these deals that they've earned on. Um, and you know, maybe they've worked it through their credit to where they're in a better position there. So we're trying to make it so this is a kind of a Kickstarter or maybe an ongoing deal uh, to make sure these deals get done. And I believe at least half of that 60% of the deals are in Deal Central can be funded in this way um, and allow people to you know, get onto the project. Any questions on that so far? Guys are pretty easy tonight. Yeah, I, Tony, I just sent you a question. With the sponsor deal, do we need an LLC? Yeah, so what will happen is we will create an LLC, um, you know, collectively, right? So we, do, we decide, hey, yeah, we want to do this deal. We're all in. Let's do it. Um, part of the deal expense, we'll spend our few hundred dollars to set up an LLC that will have the structure for the deal. So it'll have the proper ownership. It'll have the proper, like, covenants, how we operate, a good operating uh, agreement. And it will be the uh, T. Dixon. I don't know what T's name is. If it was somebody else, Tom, it'll be the Tony and Tom deal, LLC, whatever we want to call it, right? So we'll be uh, joint in that. We'll have the normal Tim. Thank you. We'll have the normal um, LLC uh, position there. So we'll you know share in the depreciation. We'll share in the revenues, all that kind of thing, as you would do on anything like that. Daniel says, will you be vetting the underwriting sheet to make sure it's legit? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a lot of you that have been around our site in the last month or so have heard me ranting about, you know, loving each other as a community and verifying the heck out of every single thing, right? That's just, that's just good business. And we've seen some fraud stuff actually really not come through our site so far. Um, yeah, you know, a little moment of silence. We haven't had any issues like that, but we've seen going through some of these other sites, um, some fraudulent deals that have almost bit some of our people. And so far, I think, um, they've been waved off to not, to not do those. So yeah, we, any of these deals we'll go through, we'll do all the calculations of the ARV, the renovation costs, all that kind of stuff. We'll go through the same process that we would with any other deal that we're doing. And then really see if there's uh, an appropriate um, exit strategy, if there's a deal to be done. And then we'll get on the phone. Tim, you and me, we're on the phone. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it's at. And we're going to say, this is how we'd structure it. I want 20% on this deal to do this, or I want 35% or whatever. And it's a situation where we would kind of negotiate on that. Maybe it doesn't work for you. No worries. We're all friends. Maybe it does work for you and we're now partners. And this is the first potentially of many. But you can also go do your own. You know, again, this is just one avenue. Other questions on that one? For fix and flip, there isn't a 100% loan, right? Um, there's There are various options of loans for these. So my recommendation would be if you have a situation that you want to do it, go put your deal into Deal Central, do up all your little numbers, come in here and do the application, which we'll show you how to do in just a second. And let's just see. Okay. Just take a little bit of time to do it. It'll either work or it won't work. As a partner of a sponsored deal, how much do I need to bring down for a property? What do you mean by that? Bring down. You're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about. They're asking how much money down do they need to bring to the sponsored loan? Okay. Great program. question. So the answer may be a big zero. Okay. So, I mean, you, we know how this all works, right? I've got this killer deal. It needs $50,000 to get it working in the proper hard money or whatever solution there is. Uh, okay, great. 
it's going to cost you 40% of the deal. I'm making this up, right? If you come in and say, look, I got 25,000, but I need another 20,000. Well, that's probably 20 some percent of the deal, right? So it's all going to be relative. In some cases, it may be nothing. Um, honestly, in most cases, I'd expect it's nothing. So, but that's one of those factors that we'll, we'll put into there. If we're doing a deal and my relationships and my signature and my experience means this cost us 10,000 to do the deal, that's freaking awesome. Um, if, it, if it's 100,000, that's doable, but we're gonna stop and scratch our head a little more and it's gonna cost a little more, right? So um, yeah, there's a lot of options there. And I think almost all of these, there's gonna be a give and take. We're gonna look it over, we're gonna see the viability. We're gonna run it through our loan officer team and then come back and say, hey, this is what we can do. And then there's a little bit of horse trading to see if it's going to work. Okay. As a partner response to the okay, my, 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 most are in a first position if a JV sponsor. Mostly are in a first position if a JV sponsor. Well, that's an interesting thing. Um, so a big uh, issue, I mean, I'm a sub two guy, right? I, I love sub two. I'll do sub two all day long. Now, the reality of it is, if I do all sub two all day long, I do one month a deal, one deal a month, which isn't bad. If I do sub two and using hard money and cash and so forth, I can do 10 deals a month or something like that, right? So I like to use whatever is optimal, but not be restricted to just, you know, singing off one song sheet here and having your positions. So a couple things. The first concern I have is if you, <clears throat> if you, are doing a creative deal and you've got that big old Wells Fargo loan at 2.2%, you know, for 75% of the amount you need. I mean, hallelujah. Okay. This is amazing. This is what we've all been preparing for. But, and the big but is how in the heck are you going to pay for the other 20%, right? So maybe another 200,000 or 150,000 to fill in that. And if we go to the hard money, that's not going to work right? Because hard money is not going to take anything in second position. So that's where we start looking at sponsor deals because we have some extra tools there. But the reality of it is you just segued me up for the lockbox program, okay? So thank you, Daniel. I owe you one. Starbucks gift card on the way? No, probably not. But um, so the lockbox, you heard me say earlier that the, the 888 thing today came from a little shower time experience. And as a computer guy, you know, I'm in my head all the time. And what I tend to find is shower time is when I get my creative thoughts because I'm just like enjoying the warm water. And I was struggling for a month trying to figure out how can we finance these deals like I just mentioned, where you got this beautiful mortgage in there that's in place. We don't want to touch that thing for anything. It's a 2.5%, whatever number I said. But we need that other piece. And the problem is if we come in in second position, we're in a really weak collateralization position. Sometimes we're even in a third position. And that just like deals off the table typically. So the thought in the shower uh, was, or the question in the shower was, how can we use the power of the LLC to basically create a new strategy that allows the lender to be protected, the borrower to be protected, and to get the stinking deals done, right? And so I came up with the most ingenuity, ingenuity, uh, that's not right, the most amazing, and I'm gonna, the reason I'm building it up is because there's a punchline at the end here. I came up with the most creative thought that's ever been created in the history of mankind and how we can use the LLC to do this. And an hour later, I'm talking to one of our people who I believe is on this call, Mona, magnificent Mona, as we refer to M Mona. And I'm telling her this incredible idea that's been gifted to me uh, on how we can solve this. And she's like, yeah, I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, so I'm right back down in my spot again. But the gist of it is, We've created a deal structure here that if you've got a situation like what I just mentioned there, that we can get it funded. And the big key is there has to be some collateral there. So if you bought it well, 
You know, you bought it under market value, there may be collateral there. Or maybe you need to put up another property as a cross collateralization piece to it. But we put those in one LLC and we have a document set that basically provides protection to the lender. And effectively, if the deal goes sideways, like really, really sideways, equity in the proper in that LLC is going to shift toward the, the lender. Okay. So that's a big deal. Um, and it happens pretty fast if things go sideways. So this deal is absolutely made for the scenario where you need a certain hunk of money to get, you know, five months, six months, maybe a year to the promised land that's high liquidity. So let me give you an example. We have a deal right now where an investor owns an asset that's worth like $10 million. We'll use that number. I'm kind of changing the numbers to protect the innocent here a little bit. But say you have a $10 million asset and they know that if they provide certain upgrades to it and get past a certain seasoning time, um, they have the ability to do one of these DSCR loans that we're talking about here and refi it with huge cash back. So in this case, <clears throat> it's like $500,000. If they, if they get $500,000 that they can borrow for six months, um, they can refinance thing and pull out like $3 million at a low rate, okay? So in this situation, they've got this thing locked and loaded. They've got enough cash for six months worth of payments. They know exactly the DSCR loan because we're working with, remember the whole holistic approach where we're working with the same loan officer who's got the paperwork ready, but can't file it for six months based on seasoning time, right? They know the funding is there. They just got to get six months. So they're putting up 150000 sorry, 500000 in this case. And they're going to pay a really, really expensive rate. Okay, it's going to be a lot. But six months later, they're going to refi out. It's going to pay that off. They're going to end up with $3 million of funding. And life is really good. And they have a nice, firm financial structure moving forward. If they don't get the five hundred thousand, they're not going to get the refinance date. They're going to have problems. They, you know, they need it. They need the money somehow. So the lockbox structure is one where it's going to be expensive, but the reality of it is, it's going to allow you to get where you're already going, and do it in a safe manner for you and the lender. That one right there fits very well with that first position, second position, third position model, but there's got to be some assets there that are available. We've had people come to us with, you know, two or three, four operating rental properties that they would never want to lose, right? They And you really can't take those and refinance them at this day and age, right? Because they have a great mortgage. So they will put those up as collateral so that we can do this deal so they can continue their business model and be able to get to that place where they can get the loan that they want to move forward. Ah, questions, a lot there. You guys aren't ever this easy. Okay, <clears throat> I'll leave the questions alone for a moment. Unless you have some, you get in chat or you hit the question there. Let me just show you the, the process for this. It, it is really stinking easy. So um, let's just go, I'm going to go back and look, pull up this deal. Oh, come on, come on. Isn't it Forrest? Isn't it called? Mm. Hang on a second. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to do it that way. So basically, we go. I was going to go back and look, show this original deal itself, but this is fine. Um, actually, let me use Union Town because this is one that I use to show all the time. I want to make sure it's still active, though. Um, I'm going to show a new feature in a second. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is an existing deal that my partner, Augustine, has put out here. And 
in this situation, you know, we've already done up all the analysis where it shows uh, the long-term rental analysis and it shows the short-term rental analysis and it shows these great returns. By the way, this is a real deal that we have right now. We've had owners for about five months, four months, something like that. Okay, so here are all, all these numbers that we're operating with. If I wanted to go get funding against this, I would simply go to the funding page. It's going to know all of my properties that are live right now. I can choose it. Here's my purchase price. Here's my existing value. And let's say that I want uh, 50,000. Uh, let's see here. We want 50,000 for three months because we're just going to do a little program. We're going to do our update. No, no, no. I actually did that wrong. Sorry. It's been a long day today. And when we update this, what we see is these start coming active or going disactive, right? So um, this, this model doesn't fit EMD funding, doesn't fit transaction funding, doesn't fit DSCR, all that kind of stuff, right? So I look this over. By the way, if I want to, I can go ahead and click in here and there's little videos on each of these things. Okay, this Need the money little, for three to six. Okay, little short videos that explain how they work, each of these. It's me rambling on, sorry. We see the terms, see the size, all that kind of thing. If it makes sense, I literally come down here and just hit apply. When I hit apply, I mean, I got nothing here, right? So it already kind of knows who I am and everything from the system, but still I can put any, if I have like my partners handling this, uh, all these things uh, we fill out just for that. And then we say, what date are we going to need the funds? I picked the 31st. Um, I really need this for construction, something like that. Um, and then I simply hit save. Application's been submitted. Thank you. Please allow two to three days for response. It's pretty darn simple. And as we do this, I can also, you know, I've done this. This is great. I'm excited. But the reality of it is it's the next day. I haven't heard anything yet. One thing I can do is go into my profile. If you've ever been on Deal Central for a while, you know this has changed a little bit, right? We now have these multiple tabs where I can set my contacts, my deal settings. But I can also go to my deals, and these are all the deals I have for me in the system. And now I have funding opportunities. And we see this is this one is the one we just did. It was put on eight, eight, and it's been applied. This one's waiting more data back. It could be um, accepted, excuse me. And then once it's done, you can view the offer. So we'll come back and say, this is the rate, this is the terms, and so forth. And really, that just starts the direct conversations as to how we're going to go through and finish the deal out. Um, so that's the application process. Really, really, really simple. If we look like we got past that first, first step and we have a viable deal, then we start you know, digging a little deeper into the paperwork. But we try to make it pretty darn simple. If you're doing things like hard money and DSR, we can usually get initial kind of quotes, viable options, usually like within a day um, to see if it makes sense to do it. Um, let me also show you one other kind of a new feature. So one of the things that some people have not liked uh, about this concept of having to go put a deal in, in some cases, you may be putting a deal in that isn't really ready to go to the public, right? You're like maybe not even a contract. You're kind of doing this as a hypothetical. So um, if this was an active deal, which is not, normally this would be set like this. If it's set on active, then you can go to the site and it will show up and you can search for it and so forth. When I went and typed in the name of that deal earlier, it didn't show up because it was not set active. But a new thing that we've created is active but hidden. So this is the situation where you want to put your deal on there. You want the loan people to look at it. You want us to look at it. You want to do all that stuff, but you don't want the deal to be available for the public. So if I put this up here, active but hidden, and uh, I save this, um, if I just go look for it out there, it's not going to show up at all. But if I do an application based on it, oh, actually, let's go. 
right there. That's the Douglas one. That's, it just showed up on a list that wasn't there earlier. So you can now um, add that in there to be able to search it. The other cool thing about that, actually, unrelated to funding stuff, is you could actually go and grab this URL right here, and you could go send this to Daniel Lewis right now. Say, hey, go look at this deal. Because he has the URL, it'll allow him to look at the deal, right? So this is kind of that whole, like, kind of by invitation only. It's really by, if you have the link, you can get there, but otherwise people can't. So we're trying to make that a little bit more confidential, if you will. But having the deals in the site is so incredibly helpful to do the analysis of if this deal even makes sense. Okay. Um, can you withdraw the application if needed? Oh my, that is a good question. Wow. That is crazy. I hadn't even thought of that one. There we go. Vanessa wins the uh, add more work to my list uh, award. The reality of it is if you got, okay, we'll probably put it like deleted or something like that in here. But the reality, of, if you come back in here and you select whichever record it is, right? So we're off doing other things. We come back and go back to Uniontown. The worst case scenario is you can come here and literally said, um, not needed, no thanks, okay? And save it. And it's gonna say, hey, you, you applied, spend some, well, it's not really true, but we're gonna see that and, and remove it. I think there will be a deleted delete function in here sometime in the next day or so. Probably. Thanks for the work, Vanessa. Appreciate that. Uh, but in the rally, this is it's what's needed. Okay. Questions? Okay. Let me talk a little bit about behind the scenes what's happening. So uh, behind the scenes, we have various lenders. We have professional lenders for some of these features, like the hard money and the DSCR. In the case of the sponsored, we look at it deal by deal and figure out how we're gonna do it. So if we need a down payment, the odds are I'll reach out to some of our existing private money lenders and say, hey, we'll give you this Tony guaranteed deal. I'll sign for everything. We'll do it all. We'll make it happen. And they will fund that deal. In some cases, we decide we're gonna do that deal. I'm gonna go over to my bridge loan. I'm gonna go to Magnificent Mona, who helps us with our bridge loans and uh, the hard money loans and say, hey, I've been doing this deal over here and uh, it's a sponsor deal. It's going to be a JV, you know, the Tony and Tim JV um, LLC is going to apply for this, use my credentials, um, figure out how we can do this so that we can optimize the deal, right? The least money in, the least risk, all that kind of thing. And we'll do it that way. We may have PMLs involved for part of the, um, the kind of the gap that occurs there. And then away we go. Perhaps after we get it going, if Tony and Tim decide they want to keep the deal long term, once we're all done and we got the renovations done, we'll go to a DSCR loan in Tim and Tony LLC's name with Tony's stamp of guarantee on it, and we'll we'll do this for ten years. I don't know, whatever whatever makes sense. Um, and then we have um, a whole group of PMLs. If you're a PML. And if you're Gator, let me tell you that we're probably tomorrow going to announce a meeting, I'm thinking for Thursday. And we're actually creating a new function um, that I'll just talk about a second. Why not? So if we go back to my profile, we have this new lender profile tab. We had some of these features in the past. Um, and we'll just say really clearly, this this window right here is 100% confidential. We Our AI systems that we have that help pick people uh, will use this. And site admins like me will use this number to see who might be a candidate to be a lender for a deal. So in there, we ask for what kind of funds you have available for Gator and how long do you typically will you allow those to be, like three weeks? What's your typical private money lender? How much of a pool do you have to work with and how long do you normally lend that out? These numbers, by the way, go into these crazy numbers right here. They change every day as people mess with that. It's a lot, those are live numbers. But more importantly, this little button right here is a big deal. 
So basically, we have this new button that if you're a lender, we're going to talk about this in the meeting on Thursday. If you want to become, we're calling it the elite circle of lenders. This is really like the circle of trust, right? So these are people I'm going to ask to basically proof up. You got the cash, you're ready to do the deals, you've done it before, okay? So that when we have those deals that need, you know, the gap funding or need some of these little component pieces, that we'll go to them and literally, this is going to be probably 15 people, 10 people, and then say, here's this deal we want to do. Here's why we want to do it. Tony's guaranteeing it. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So we have some smaller lenders that'll do a couple deals. We have some deal people that will do 20 deals. But we're using the community here. They're earning incredible returns back, but enabling what we've got going here um, for the community. Any questions on that? I want, I want but let me, let's try this. Hey, tell me in the side chat, you think that's cool? No, it doesn't really work. I was a little, that was a little Pace Morby thing there, a side chat. Okay. So that is pretty much the story of what we've got going on here. So as I told you at the very beginning, remember that concept, I want to take the anxiety of funding off the table. And I've seen some of our people that are members of the site that have listed re funding requests two, three, four times, and I don't think they've been funded. With the sponsor program or the lockbox program, pretty much any of those deals, again, if they're good, should be fundable. So, we're trying to make it so that you can be out there just focused on the deal. What makes sense? What makes sense? What makes sense? If you got it, then kind of the bank is here and ready to go. Kind of like we think the bank should be, you know, I got a deal. Hey, bank, I want to go to, you know, that doesn't really how it works, right? But here we've got the components necessary. We've got some really strong loan officer like people who have been doing this for many, many years that can look at these deals and all the time for my own deals, like I mentioned Mona, I will go to her and say, this is what I think I want to do. And she's like, well, why do you, would you want to do it that way? You should do it like this. And I'm always like, that's why I call you because she knows how to optimize those and uh, make it happen in that way. What's the good, what the good means? Is there any criteria that you're looking for for a deal to be good? That's a great question. And I don't think I'm going to give you the answer you're looking for. Um, you know, ultimately, we're looking for deals that are going to cash flow in a conservative way, right? Or deals that by buying them, you're picking up, I use the term implied equity, right? So if we think that the property is worth $200,000 and you're buying it for $150,000, there's value right there. There's room. There's meat on the bone, right? And if it makes sense that a reasonable amount of renovations will take it to a higher level uh, and that it then would fit for long-term financing or would be easy to turn around and sell in the market, that's a good deal. Now, what's not a good deal is buying it at a bad price or expensive underlying mortgages on it or risky exit strategies, that type of thing. Those, those are the things that are going to kill us. And, you know, I've seen people bring us, hey, th this is um, a uh, designer property worth uh, $5 million. And if we put in $2 million, we can make 500000 in six months. And I look at that and go, yeah, no, I'm good, right? Because the reality of it is those are big numbers big risk, really limited market, that doesn't sound fun. But talk to me about Florida, Texas, Arizona. I mean, the reality is we're also in Ohio, we're in Maryland. We do, we do things all over the country, but look at some of those markets and say, um, the deal I did today, we closed one today. It was for sale for 320. We bought it for 280. We think it's gonna take 25,000 to sell it 
of in renovations to sell it for 400,000. Okay, right there, I see we made money on the buy. Low cost renovations, we're gonna make money on the sell. And it's just very easy systematic. Those deals we'll do all day long, as many as you wanna do. Suggestions, I don't know, Vanessa's got a new project here. Maybe email members listed as Gators and PML to invite them to lead circle. That is exactly what we're, we'll be doing. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, we're going to be, we have, based upon their profile, we have, yes, who's lending, who's all that. We'll reach out to all of them, invite them to that meeting. Where we'll discuss that in more detail. For sponsored deals, especially since we'd be creating new LLCs, are you planning to help in underwriting it? Does it pencil negotiating terms, make an offer since new LLC would have to be on the contract? Absolutely. So I believe that there will be some people that will come in and bring us like this complete package. Here we go. We need money. And all the pieces are there. You got an LLC ready, all that kind of stuff. And that's awesome. I believe in many cases that we will uh, turn and build our standard LLC format that we normally do, and we will uh, help negotiate the terms on that. Um, we now have, um, I was going to say a resident realtor on staff, not even true. So one of my daughters is actually getting a Florida real estate license right now, and we'll do it in Texas as well. So like in those markets, we'll have the ability to get reduced commission um, sales opportunities in those markets and also investor friendly because uh, sorry for any realtors are on the call here, but realtors don't really get a lot of this stuff. And so we're, we're working at building that out as well to help um, the exit strategies on a lot of these. Okay, hey, Michael, have fun, makes sense. Go get that lottery ticket, absolutely. Michael and I had a great conversation about his lucky numbers are in his, him and his wife's numbers are 808. So they're gonna buy a lottery ticket at 808 in their local time zone. So that's awesome. And he's gonna come in for 8.08% .08 of it. Uh, other questions? Eight, ta eight tacos for Taco Tuesday. Come on, my goodness. Kill me. Tony. Yes. Daniel. Um, since you got this site, it's been three months and a half now you guys have this on? Three months and uh, five days. That's amazing. So you've been seeing a lot of deals, a lot of uh, funding. What's the average deal take now since you've seen this in three months? being funded general and in general how long does it usually take great question so here's what we see if you go and put a deal out there on the site and sit back and stare at your email for something to happen who knows yeah um what's worked very well are people that go and put the deal on the site and then go a little further and do like that analysis the short term um, lease analysis, all that kind of stuff long, that, that's in the analysis tab. Um, people that do that, it, it, it's very helpful because people can, the investors or um, funders can look at it and kind of get the vision. So that helps a lot. Then if you say, hey, Tony, why don't you give me on the Shark Tank every Wednesday at, what are we, 9 p.m., 8 p.m., whatever it is, 8? Yeah. Eight, uh, there's the 8 again. Um and I'm not, we may not have one tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see about that one. But the reality of it is the Shark Tank presentations really bump your numbers up. And it's back to what I was saying, because we're shoving you in front of the lenders or the buyers. Okay. So that's still going to be a great event to do. But the reality of it is putting it in here, we're shoving, you are shoving this right into the face of the lenders. Yeah. And with that, I mean, we're going to be, immediately working your deal for you at that point in time. So I think you're going to see a great improvement on that. Um, I think good deals that like, for instance, want to do the sponsored approach are going to have a 90% hit rate of getting started and funding in a few days. Great. That's, that's kind of the goal. Perfect. That's amazing. 
Okay. Thanks, Don. You bet. And as a lender, how am I getting notified of potential deals that fit my criteria? Great question, Mike. Okay, Mike, were you on just a second ago when I showed the uh, elite circle of love, whatever we call that thing, circle of life? Um, see, I've got my phrase down so well. If you, if you want to click this, this is going to have um, us talk, and we're going to, um, if, you, if it makes sense for your situation to be involved with this, then whenever one of these deals comes in, it's going to immediately uh, kick out and notify you of um, the deal. Um, and okay, so by the way, I just stopped and paused and looked at my side screen. I get notified when somebody applies, okay? And somebody's applied, okay? So when we've been going for 45, 50, uh, an hour, and somebody's already applied. So grand example of that. So if after you're on that elite team, when somebody applies, it's gonna look and see what kind of a deal is it, right? So we're gonna have certain people that'll be EMD and transaction people. That's kind of a little thing, right? It's going to notify those people. Hey, we got this deal. It's time to start working it. They have an they have the ability to come in and log in to a different screen on the system here. They can see the deals that are queued up for them. They can see the status of them. They can see what are required, and they're going to be able to manage them from there. Okay. Um, if you if it's a DSCR deal, for instance, unless you're a DSCR provider, which you may be, I don't know. Um, it, it's probably not going to go to you. It's going to go to our professional loan officers. If it's a PML situation, that's probably what you're talking about, but maybe not, then it's going to um, drive those deals to you. So it's, it's all just about um, sending them to the appropriate place. So though we have six different things and it's holistically looked at, there's really like five specialties in here that you'll be kind of moved around to get the right one that fits. The questions. Daniel came back. He, he has another question. No, no, he didn't. He just turned his camera back on. Okay. So um, again, I'd be glad to answer any other questions. Um, let me ask one question here. Did we overhype this? Is this is this is there value in this? I mean, you guys, is this something you guys think you'll be wanting to try out either on the lending side or the borrowing side? I think it's extremely comprehensive. And so it to me, you've thought through, you and your team have thought through all the different stages or scenarios that would warrant having assistance. Mm -hmm. So I guess time will tell. Um, I'm sure you'll get feedback along the way, but at, at first blush, I think it's a phenomenal platform. Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, we, we know it's early and with, and software guy here, my goal was to get this out faster than, than functionality, if that makes sense. So I'll tell you, for instance, if you pull this up on mobile, this page looks like crap. We'll eventually make it mobile friendly. It currently isn't because there's just too much stuff on here. But um, what I'm getting at is I think there's going to be a lot of improvements coming. There'll be a few more questions asked. So there'll be more guidance, more feedback through the process. But ultimately, our goal is let's get deals going now. Um, this market right now is horrible for the general consumers of the world. It is um, total gold for real estate investors right now. There's so much opportunity. There's so much spread in doing things. We wanted to get this out as soon as we could to get people activated. Um, and then uh, if you have questions along the way on um, referral fee process, feel free to hit me up directly on that. We're gonna add a little bit more messaging to the input process. Um, currently, there's a new question that when you create a deal, if you're kind of wrestling, right, or whatever they call that, um, you can put a deal in here and there's a, a question, something like, um, this is my deal or this is a deal that I'm, connecting okay so if you're a connector you got somebody else deal, you can bring it in here and you can declare it okay this isn't my deal but i'm trying to find, raise money for it and we will treat it appropriately and we'll also tag it for you 
so that there will be, um, we're very happy to compensate the people that are involved with the process. Nib's gonna do a deal tomorrow, yay. Nib, didn't you do in the very first deals, like on the week one with us, Texas property, I think? Maybe wrong. Um, maybe. Yeah, I sure did, man, and it was great. I, I was willing to even do be a beta tester for you. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what having a unique name does. I you know I remember we have about I don't know fifteen or sixteen hundred users in there, but Niv comes up and I'm like, Niv, he's that guy. No, oh, no, that guy. <laughs> yeah, like he. I think he fought Rocky in Rocky Three. <laughs> um, okay, that's great. That's uh, funny because I'm half Russian. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um again for uh, okay well if you guys think this is cool um if you guys want to share it with your people out there in the world you sure can um i'm trying to reduce our noise in other news groups and facebook groups and so on um but i can't control what you all do so if you see somebody looking for money if you want to tag us or deal central it or go in and set up the deal for them, whatever, feel free to do that. Referrals work via an affiliate link. Ah, yeah, kind of. So we're going to be a little bit informal on the front end, but you may all know that in your profile, you have your deal central URL, right? Which brings you to your landing page like this. Look at that certified. And then how about that fish too? Come on. Anyway, um, what we're going to do in the next few days is make it so that if you give people your link here, and I think it may be slightly modified and they click through to it, it'll drop a cookie that says they're yours and it will basically tag them. So it's probably going to be a slightly different URL, but it's going to kind of look like this. This is not going to be a white, white label product where they come in here and they're like, hey, this is Vanessa's website and Vanessa's in the loan business. In fact, Vanessa does six kinds of loans. We're not going to do that. However, if you send them in, we're going to take care of you in the course of that. And we're happy to do that. Again, we're doing half a point. We're going to do half a point in your first deal, your third deal, their sixth deal, right? Um, and just glad to have people in here. Are we keeping the Facebook chat group? Confused for some not to post deals. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a really interesting topic. So I do have some, you know, anger management issues when it comes to people posting deal in the Facebook groups because it's just as much uh, trash as posting it in every other Facebook group out there. So what we really encourage that people post in the chat or they post in the main Facebook group, I always delete them. And it uh, comes with a little warning about that. And what we're ultimately saying is, is that's the place to communicate like, hey, where's the video for this? Hey, this is the upcoming meeting. Hey, this is the whatever. People have services. In some case, we leave them up there. We have had about 10 people pitch their skip tracing service. I delete those. Um, but ultimately, what we're really trying to do is get them on the site because that's where the action is. That's where things are getting done. Anything else? Well, this has been fun. I appreciate y'all coming out here tonight. Um, again, nine months to build to this point. We think we now have a site that's actually really viable. You know, buying and selling has worked and funding financing has worked. This is where it all comes together. And uh, we just want to make it really simple um, and help you out through that process. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, if there's no other questions, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the meeting down. Um, actually, I'm going to shut the re up the share. I'm going to stop the record if anybody else has any casual.